Hey everybody, James Stone here. I'm here with uh, fishing guide Josh Peard and we're up here on the Sacramento River at Roosters. A lot of you know this famous fishing hole. It's right upstream of the barge hole on the Sacramento River. Probably one of the most famous and iconic spots in the entire Central Valley for Chinook salmon fishing. And as you see behind me, the boat launch is completely empty. That's because salmon fishing is shut down for the second year in a row. But I came up here today to visit Coleman National Fish Hatchery, which is having a lot of problems with getting eggs back this year. But the last two years, not only have we been facing a closure, but we've been facing a lot of low escapement numbers, meaning a lot of minimum numbers of adult salmon coming back to the Sacramento River. And so one of the programs that the organization had worked with Coleman National Fish Hatchery to work on was a, a carcass salmon distribution program. And Josh is in charge of that and is volunteering all of his time and efforts to fight for the salmon. And he's actually collecting fish, whole spawn fish, and redistributing them back into the river where they naturally would be since there's no natural spawning salmon left in the river. And so I'm here with Josh today and I'm gonna let him tell you what he's doing and hopefully you can uh, look for the new YouTube video that he created that we're gonna be uploading to our YouTube channel. So go to the NorCal Guide YouTube channel and check it out. And if you wanna help donate or help volunteer for this program, we could definitely use your help and definitely use funding to keep this program alive. So Josh, tell them what you've been doing and thank Thank you every, for everything you have been doing. Oh, you're welcome, James. And again, my name is Josh Peard, owner operator of Peard Fishing um, out of Redding, California. Just a local joker trying to make an impact on the ecosystem that's failing. Um, what I'm doing is I get the carcasses from the hatchery. I bring them to various locations on the lower Sacramento and I'm distributing the carcasses to bring back the ocean derived nutrients to help bring back the juvenile salmon's habitat as well as um, increasing the biomass for the other uh, wildlife in the ecosystem. We've seen bobcats, otters, um, other other fish, birds, all kinds of wildlife are um, using the resources that we're introducing into the river. Um, we're hoping to have the program expand uh, throughout the course of this season and <clears throat> years to come. And as James mentioned, uh, any time you guys can come out, help out, volunteer, give us some funding, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, NorCal has been astronomical and help and aid getting this program on board and having me be able to do the logistical side and get the carcasses actually in the river. So huge shout out to NorCal, James, everybody involved on that end, um, the local guides that have been helping us out and a couple of the local businesses, Intentional Beauty, um, there's a couple of construction companies that I need to give a shout out to, Aztec, above board. Um, I'd really like to thank you guys for all your help and contributions. So how many fish have you guys like uh, distributed so far this year? Uh, right now, I believe we're right between 2,000 and 2,500 fish. I'd have to check my numbers to get real 100% accurate counts. So normally we have 60 fish per tote. This year, our fish per tote count has been quite a bit higher because we have a significant amount of jacks coming back into the system, which is a positive representation for things to come hopefully in the future. Yeah, so these guys are actually going to the hatchery on their own. They're bringing their trucks and trailers. The hatchery is loading up totes, huge totes, full of dead carcasses and then these guys are driving them around volunteering their time their gas money and everything and going and distributing them and in these locations and the organization is trying to help bring awareness to this program because it's such a great program we've had past volunteers helping this program robert we done dave jacobs jason thatcher many others Josh is our lead on this program now, and he's really taken this to heart. It means everything to him to bring this river back for our kids and our grandkids. And this is one of the great ways that multiple years now that we've been doing this. So please reach out to us. Go to ncgasa.org to support us. Look for the YouTube video. It's going to drop in the next couple of days of all the work that he's doing. I think you're going today to do more carcasses. Yes, or... I will be heading out today. Yeah, we'll so, get more so yeah, check it out, and I'll have him send me a short little video. Video and I'll throw it up on our Facebook page as well. And uh, if anyone wants to come to the dinner, our big annual fundraising dinner is this Saturday. You got to buy your tickets before Halloween. Uh, Marysville, November 2nd. Please go to ncgasa.org to sign up or to join the dinner. And thank you again to Josh and all the volunteers. Anything else for the good of the membership? Uh, just support, support, support. Spread awareness. Anything you guys can do to spread the awareness. 
of what the NorCal Guys and Sportsmen Association is doing for our, our resources is a huge help. We need people to advocate and spread awareness as well as have boots on the ground. And like James said, we'll have more videos coming your way via YouTube um, of my process and what we're doing here at the carcasses and hopefully what we'll be doing to expand on the program. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Josh. And, uh, you know, thank you to all the volunteers out there. And uh, it takes a village, people. Not one person is going to bring this back. It takes all of us doing our part. Every little person in this community is doing their part. So thank you to everyone. And thank you to Josh's leadership. We'll talk to you all soon. Thank you all. Look for more videos soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. James Stone here, NorCal Guides and Sportsmen's Association, coming to you live from the Coleman Hatchery Fish Weir. Hope you're all doing great today. It is uh, October 29th, and uh, we uh, ventured up here today to come check on some of the fish. I'm gonna kind of zoom in and let you see if you see any fish. I see one or two down here. Uh, not too many, there's a couple. That's a big one right there. Uh, we're up here at Coleman National Fish Hatchery, and uh, this is 274 miles up the Sacramento River to where the mouth of Battle Creek is, where they swim an additional six miles up this river and then stop here at the weir. And then they enter the hatchery right here in this ladder right here and enter up into the spawning building behind me. Now, on a normal year, you would see upwards of 10,000 salmon still in this creek. Unfortunately, I'm uh, only seeing about three so far as I've been standing here for the last five to six minutes. Most of the salmon have already been entered into the hatchery and spawned. I'm hearing upwards of, uh, you know, around 800, around 800 females have been spawned this year. The bulk of the fish that have come back have been jack two-year-olds, which means that there is hope for next year that there'll be more fish coming back to this hatchery. But on a normal year, they take anywhere from 15 to 20 million green eggs here at this hatchery to produce an end product of 12 million smolts plus or minus 15 percent so on an average year they're trying to produce 12 to 13 million smolt fish which are right around uh, 60 to 90 per pound on the count uh, depending on the release timing and the water temperature of how they grow but this year we're not seeing those numbers uh, I'll be posting in the comments but uh, they have a total of 3.9 million green eggs taken so far and spawning is uh, you know, only going to be going on for about another week and a half, two weeks. And so estimates with looking at what's in this creek right now, there's not many fish in here. Uh, I'm still not seeing, oh, I just saw another fish. So I've now seen about five fish standing here for about five to ten minutes. So there's not many fish left in the creek currently, which means that we're not expecting to get many more eggs. Many of us, you know, we thought that this was going to happen and uh, we knew that this was going to happen. And so in the comments and in the section, our organization has teamed together with the coalition of the commercial fleet and charter boat fleet. And we have written a coalition letter requesting the transfer of eggs just like we did last year, but these eggs to be released in river to produce another collapse in 2027. And, uh, you know, unfortunately the hatchery workers here are doing everything they can and we're very thankful to everyone at Coleman staff of trying to do what they can. But unfortunately the red tape of regulation and bureaucracy is strong arming a lot of people to make decisions, especially risk averse decisions. And you know, common sense says that if we don't have fish, well we raise more fish and we release more fish. Common sense says if we have bad water conditions, we need to raise more fish at the hatchery and send them out. But there's a lot of people that are advocating against that, and it's very unfortunate. And I'll just say for now that our organization is fighting for you and your kids and your grandkids to have more fish for the future and to prevent future collapse and fisheries closures like we're currently in. We're currently in the second year of a two-year salmon closure, just like 2008 and 2009, which was detrimental to the fishing industry. Many people have gone out of business. Many people are you know, moving away because there's no opportunity to even go recreational fishing on the Sacramento River. But I will tell you that the most important thing is this organization and all of our membership, you, are continually fighting, continually joining, spreading the news, watching our videos, going to YouTube, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and sitting there fighting every single day for you. We're working on every single possible way that we can advocate to raise more fish and 
hopefully we will see these egg transfers come through this year and this hatchery is going to raise those extra fish and release them in the river to prevent a 2027 collapse. Again, we want to thank everyone in the Coleman staff for everything that they're doing and we're hoping that we're going to have better water management and we're hoping that the future will look bright. We have to be optimistic, we have to be united, and we have to continue fighting together to make sure that our kids and grandkids have it better than we do. Thank you very much. Make sure you go to ncgasa.org today and sign up to join to be a member and to help us fight for the great causes that we're doing. Watch our carcass distribution program that we just did a live video on and check out the new YouTube drop of Joshua Peard that's sitting releasing all of the spawned out carcasses that the hatchery is giving to us in order to put them back into the river to provide marine derived nutrients into the system. The system's hurting right now, the ecosystem's hurting. It's the, probably gonna be the lowest return of Sacramento Fall Run Chinook salmon that we've ever seen in the history of this river. But with your help and with Coleman's help, we're gonna be able to boost those numbers and get back into positive things and hopefully in 2025, get the fry program back launched like we were working on in 2023. So for now, I'm James Stone. Thank you for all the support. And if you want to come to the fundraising dinner, it's this Saturday. Last chance to buy tickets for the next 48 hours online. It, ticket sales close by uh, Halloween. 500 people in Marysville, California. Everyone's going to be having a great time and fighting for fisheries so that all of our kids and our grandkids can have it better. Appreciate you all. Thank you for your support. Talk to you soon. Go to ncgasa.org. Bye.